Hello. We're not singing again. <laughs> How's it going, guys? It's going great. It was really good. So I'm back, and Stephen asked me to come do beer reviews because we're going to do the most basic bitch beers I can think of. Pumpkin beers. We're going to start out with the O'Fallon Vanilla Pumpkin Beer. It is... All right, fine. Don't give me an alcohol. Oh, it's a 5.6. Hey, Ooh. that's something. I think this is the only one out of the whole variety pack that you can actually get six packs of. Ooh, neat. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah. I had two of the four, and uh, they were pretty good. Ambery. That's nice. Okay, so, right off the bat, <laughs> I smell the vanilla, but... I get the pumpkin. I get the pumpkin. For sure I get the pumpkin. Color's nice. Yeah. Nice bunch of shite. No, oh, yeah, look at all that shite in there. Look at all that bubbling, dirty shite. Too bad. Not too bad. Had better. Yeah. I get. Mm, okay. Yeah, the aftertaste is where I get a lot of the pumpkin and kind yeah. of that nutmeggy taste. And then. I guess vanilla. I'm not 100% sure. So, like, it's good. There's something missing. I don't know what flavor. it is. Yeah, that's it. It's flavor. It's just not very, it's not exciting, you know? Because, yeah. like, you hear vanilla pumpkin and you think, oh, shit, this is going to be amazing. But it, it's not. It's just, like, beer with pumpkin in it. Yeah. I don't, I don't get the a carbonate, whole lot of, yeah. I don't get a whole lot of sweetness or even vanilla at all. The carbonation kind of kills it, too. Like, I mean... Cause like right off the bat you have that really carbonated taste and then you have like the yeast and like the hops and then at the aftertaste towards the end you get the pumpkin. <sighs> that basic bitch one that we had uh, when we went to Harvest. Yeah. That was a little different. I mean, that was, that was that automatic. Like that was like excessive. Off the it bat. was hard during the last third of it. I mean, that's why you only take shots of shit. I had a fucking crowler. Fuck that noise. Jesus. Ounces. Yeah, that was fun. I gave it a nine. Did you drink the whole thing? I drank the whole thing. Oh my god. He's a basic bitch now. <laughs> He's talking to a friend of mine. And, uh, she like really likes Starbucks, and I was like, "You need to stop talking." She was saying something, and I was like, "I'm gonna beat your ass in the Starbucks parking lot." And then after I'm done, I'm gonna buy you a frappuccino. She was like, "Oh my gosh, you're gonna get me a frappuccino!" I was like, <laughs> "Fucking Christ!" <laughs> Negative. So like, I'm not impressed. Nah, it's okay. It's, it's okay. I mean, it's beer. It's not like it's not Frio or like Mountain Jizz or whatever the fuck not the other one was. <laughs> it was. It's okay. I'm not. I'm not feeling it, honestly. That is too pumpkin-y. I want more spices and vanilla. See, I don't even get... Like, I could do it if it tasted like straight pumpkin. Like, if somebody just took five pumpkin gourds, put it in the vat, and turned it for an hour. That would be different. I would be like, okay, so you're going for this. But it's pumpkin vanilla, which... First of all, it's pumpkin, so you got the fall. And then it's vanilla, which is one of the most basic bitch flavors ever. Like, I need that. I need it to be like... I need more fucking vanilla. Yes, I need something sweet. I need a kick. But I don't know. That's up to you, Will Fallon. Figure it out. Yeah, that's bad. I don't give it that much. Uh, eight. I give it a seven. Yeah, not too shitty. That's not too bad. Like, it's drinkable, but, like, I'm not going to go buy a six-pack of this. Or yeah. a four-pack. Or a two-pack. I may even just, like, shoot the bottle. <laughs> All right, there you go. We'll be seeing you.